Well, first of all, thank you very much for your purchase of Pixelcade LCD. We very much appreciate it. So now that you've got your marquee, the first thing you need to do is configure it to be on your Wi-Fi network. Now, if you're connecting over Ethernet, you can skip this step. So somewhere in your Pixelcade package, look for something like this. And basically you want this micro SD card. And so if you take out the back, that's the actual micro SD card you can see there. It's a 64 gig card. It has the Pixelcade software image already on there. So just go ahead and put that back. Let's set our marquee aside for the moment. Go ahead and get out a Windows laptop. Um, if you have a Mac, you can also do this on a Mac as well. And basically take your micro SD card and just plug it into your laptop's micro SD card adapter. Now, if your computer doesn't have a micro SD card or an SD card slot, then you'll need to grab one of these guys. This is basically a micro SD card to USB adapter. So if you're in that boat, and sorry, this doesn't ship with it, so you have to get this separately. They're pretty cheap. You can just get them on Amazon or something. So if you're in that boat, you don't have an SD card reader in your computer, then you'll need to go with this guy and then just pop that into your USB port. Like so. But hopefully you have that and you can just take your SD card adapter and pop it into your computer. When you do that, you're gonna see this come up. Do not hit format, hit cancel. And the reason why that's coming up is there's actually two volumes on this micro SD card. One is a Linux volume, which Windows can't read. So just in case you're wondering. But then one you wanna to go to is this one called Pixel Data. So look here for a program called Pixelcade Wi-Fi Wizard, and which is just gonna double click it. And you're just gonna enter your Wi-Fi. I'm just gonna put a fake one here, network name, and then your Wi-Fi password. So let's say your password was one, two, three, four, five, six, and then hit okay. That's then going to write your Wi-Fi credentials to the micro SD card. So all set, and then once that's done, you can just go here and do an eject, and then pop this back into your Pixelcade LCD marquee. So with that done, let's go ahead and take out the SD card adapter out of your computer. Let's go ahead and pull out the micro SD card itself. So we have the card here, and now we're going to insert this into your Pixelcade marquee. All right, so here's the back of your Pixelcade marquee. And when you get this card, basically you wanna flip it over so the contacts are facing up like so. And then it's just a matter of inserting it into the slot, which is right about here. And if you feel around a little bit, you can get it. Now to give you a better visual, because I realize that might be a little tricky, here is the Pixelcade board. If I flip it over, there's the SD card slot. So basically, it's just gonna go in like so, and then flip it over, it would look like this. Of course, you can't do that because it's mounted to the board, but this is where it is. And again, once you'll get the hang of it, once you just kind of feel in there, just pop it in. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. And on the, um, on the Pixelcade LCD you get, actually, there'll be actually a little visual slot cut out right here. Um, this is a pre-production unit, so you don't see it here, but you'll see a little cutout slot, and that'll give you also a little visual cue on exactly where this guy goes. So I've got some customers around these crazy big, you know, hyperspin images, and they've got like 60 gigabytes of artwork. So if you're in that boat, then definitely go the thumb drive route. So get yourself, you know, maybe 128, 256 gigabyte thumb drive. Copy all of the artwork 
into the thumb drive up front because copying it, you can actually, once the thumb drive is in, um, this is Wi-Fi enabled, so you can actually still copy stuff to the thumb drive over Wi-Fi, it's just gonna be slower. So take, you know, that huge dump of files that you have. There's two directories on here. One is called LCD marquees. The, one is the other one is called MP4 marquees. MP4 marquees is for video files, video snaps. Uh, I recommend to keep those video snaps to seven seconds. And then the other one is for your still image JPEGs. Um, if you've got a super pixel K LCD like this for Rec Room, it's gonna be 1920 by 360 resolution. So again, 1920 by 360 resolution. Copy all the files in this guy and then just simply plug it in. Let's go ahead and plug in our power and power on. All right, so let's go ahead and install the Pixel K desktop software on your arcade PC. So in this case, we're going to do this on Windows. So this assumes you're running like a Hyperspin or CoinOps or a LaunchBox Big Box on a Windows PC. So let's go to pixelk.org. And then let's go to download and pick Windows based arcade front end. And then let's scroll down and download LCD. Now, just a side note, if you happen to have both Pixelcade LCD and LED, because you can actually have both in your install, then you'd want to pick this one. But if not, just pick LCD. So let's go ahead and download this one. All right, so we're downloaded. Let's go ahead and launch it. Now, one thing here, and it's going to prompt you here as well, do not install it under program files. Uh, there's a permissions thing that if you do that, it's going to break. So it's gonna to default to either your C drive or you can put it on your D drive, whatever you have the most space. All right, so it's installing and then you'll notice at the end of the installer, this little command prompt window is gonna come up. And this is basically gonna look for that LCD on your network. So assuming you uh, did the other procedure correctly and have your LCD booted up, it's gonna find it. You can see it just found it right there on our network. And then it's going to automatically pair, basically pair meaning connect your desktop arcade running the Pixelcade software to that Pixelcade LCD on your network. So just go ahead and hit okay. If you didn't see this, that means there's some issue, some network connectivity issue or something and we'll have to do some troubleshooting on that one. But in this case, it found it, so we'll just go ahead and hit OK. And then it's then going to launch the front end installer wizard. So this is where we tell it um, we make sure we have LED Blinky installed. And then we also tell it which front end we're using. So let's say, for example, you're on CoinOps. You'd pick CoinOps. If you're on the latest version of CoinOps, pick the first one. If you're on an older version, pick Legacy. So let's just go ahead and pick this one. And you can see, by the way, the other front ends that are supported, LaunchBox, BigBox, Hyperspin, GameX, you know, I've got quite a few here. So, we're, But we're, for right now, we're just gonna pick CoinOps as an example. So hit okay. Then it's gonna ask us, okay, where is your CoinOps folder? I'm just gonna tell it it's right here under CoinOps. It's gonna make a little modification for Pixelcade and then that's it. So that's all there is to it in terms of installing it for your particular front end. All right, so now if you want to copy new artwork over your Pixelcade LCD, what you're going to do is go over here, go down here and look for this Pixelcade LCD network share icon. And that should open up something like this. In my case, I actually have an external USB drive hooked up to it as well. But if you don't, you're only going to see this Pixelcade internal. And so I'm going to go ahead and go over here, get some new marquees and double click on this guy go into the lcd marquees folder this is for jpeg still image marquees mp4 is for video snaps so i'm just going to go here I actually copied those in already so i'm just going to override them 
hit paste, and you just literally copy and paste. Now, it is important that you follow a specific naming convention. So if I go here and go to this, how to add new LCD artwork, just go to this page and scroll down a little bit and it's gonna give you information you need to know about how specifically to name the files. So that's here. And it's also gonna tell you about this log file, which is gonna be super helpful. Let me show you, explain what that's all about. So if I go back here and I, I go here, so again, I'm back to Pixelcade internal, look at this log folder. There's a file here called pixelcadelcd.log. Let's go ahead and open it up. So as you're running your front end, all the calls to Pixelcade actually are logged in this file. So for example, if it's trying to find, let's say you pick this one. So here's a good example. This is, um, I think, actually, I think a game called Droid Assault. It's uh, under the run and gun console category. So Pixel K didn't, didn't find it. So it's gonna tell you exactly it was looking for this file. So you could then simply go back here and copy that file, that exact file name, stick it here. And the next time around, it'll find it. So anything that's missing will flag in the log file is missing. So you could just search on the log file under missing, very easily find the stuff that's missing. And then for ones that aren't missing, like let's say for example, pick this one here. Say this is a, this is actually a console piece of artwork called Hack Games. Then you, if you didn't like this particular one, you could create your own, give it that file name, copy it in that same area before, and you'll be good to go. So this will be a really helpful resource for you if you want to copy over your own um, artwork. And I wanted to show you one other thing here. Okay, let me actually search. Okay, so here's an example of one where I actually copied, it, copied a, a new console marquee called default slots, put that on the USB drive. And so the log file is telling you, hey, I found that in USB content and so that's another way you can validate that your content actually went through. And then just so you know, the order is going to be like this. So Pixelcade will always look for always look for external first or USB first. So if you've got something on your USB drive, it's going to go there first. If you don't have a USB drive or the artwork isn't there, then it's going to go to internal. It's going to look there. And then if it's not there, it's going to look in the system memory, which you can't actually get to. And there's a lot of artwork that comes in the system storage already. Now, because Pixelcade LCD is a network device, you can actually upload artwork from any computer on your network. So in this example, I'm on a Mac. I can go ahead and access Pixelcade LCD from the Mac. So I'm just going to go browse my network, double click Pixelcade. And you can see those two same drives from earlier before. So let's go ahead and go into internal LCD marquees. And let's just go ahead and copy some new artwork. So I'll open up a new window here. I can just go ahead and copy that over. All right, so that's how easy it is to copy additional artwork, rename artwork, because renaming is a thing that you'll do uh, from time to time from another computer on your network. And so remember earlier, we talked about that log file. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that same log file here. And just like we saw before, this log file is actually blank, unlike the other one. But the idea is you can get access to that same log file from your other computers on your network as well, which you're gonna need to know how to rename stuff. So that's how you access Pixelcade from another computer on your network.